What's up everyone, this is Sekamaros. Uh, this is a new channel and also obviously a new Let's Play. Uh, so this is Dungeons of Edera. It is a rogue light action RPG dungeon crawler featuring procedurally generated levels where you battle through hordes of monsters to restore Adara to its former glory. Um, so this is going to be a blind let's play as I literally just bought it. Um, so without further ado, further ado, I will be starting the game. And let's see where this takes us. Long has the continent of Adira been ruled by the Oswari Empire, keeping peace among the numerous factions of peoples who live within their boundaries, with fair leadership and representation. The peace did not last, however, as the line of emperors became corrupt with greed and power, and as they began to launch campaign after campaign to claim even more land and riches. Their demand on their subjects grew ever more until they reached a breaking point. A rebellion was born as the factions of the North banded together to march into the heartland of the Empire to put a stop to it. The hard-fought rebellion was broken at the foot of Norak, the Empire's prized capital. But with the Oswari spread so thin, they were able to broker a truce. The Oswaris granted them their independence in return for an end to the fighting. But as the years passed, and the faction's anger and pain against the Oswaris were forgotten, old rivalries began to surface between the Arbinum State, the Sufrak clans, and the Wakara bands, breaking the trust between the factions of Adira. This does not go unnoticed by the Oswari Empire, whose ever-aggressive emperor looks upon the free lands of Adira with hungry eyes. You and your family lived a simple life within the Arbidum state as farmers, making a living bringing crops to market every year, nothing out of the ordinary happening until two years ago, with the arrival of a mysterious man who stumbled onto your farm, barely clinging to his life. He was injured and on the verge of death, and your parents kind-hearted folk, tended to his wounds and allowed him to work on the farm while he slowly recovered. You came to know this man as Scovis, and grew quite fond of him as he taught you simple sword fighting techniques and enchanted you with his tales of adventure all over the world. Scovis was always talking about the aggression of the Oswari Empire, but your parents did not want to hear it. Nothing could make them leave their home. Even when rumors of Sufrak raiding parties started, they believed that nothing would ever happen to their village and way of life. Unbeknownst to anyone, the Oswari Empire is on the march, looking to reclaim their ancient land. Your town just happens to be one of the first victims of a merciless Oswari campaign of revenge. Kid. Hey, kid. Come on, kid. You've got to get up. You okay? We need to see if anyone is still alive, and what we can salvage. Take this. I took it from one of those Oswari dogs. Alright, what happened here? The Oswari army invaded, kid. Done a fine job of making sure hardly anything was left. The Oswari army? They're the huge empire to the south, who we ain't on friendly terms with. Where are you going? I want to go check the field to see if anyone else survived. Uh, how do I use this? Nothing to it, kiddo. Either swing or thrust. Whatever feels natural to you. You want me to kill? Sorry to ruin your interpretation of what is right and just, but this is what war really is. Either you defend yourself and kill those who want you dead, 
or join those you see laying on the ground. I'm sorry this happened, but we have to clear the town of Oswari soldiers, or we will be next. Alright, search the town for survivors, try not to die. Got it. Alright, WSND, just as usual for any RPG. Or any game, actually. Uh, shift, yep. Light attack. Heavy attack, shift, plus click, and space to dodge. Okay, got it. Alright, so I... Mm. Oh, he flew. Alright, so what I was about to say is I usually play as warrior type, so... Ooh, mace guy. Come on. Ooh. Almost. Alright, let's go see if I can kill any more people. Uh, so far this game seems pretty easy. In terms of combat, but this is only the beginning, so I'm sure it'll get harder eventually. Ooh, hammer. E to pick up. I'm guessing I for inventory. Yep. Uh, ooh, let's put that on. Yeah, buddy. Alright, uh, attack speed. Nope, I'm not gonna equip that one. Ooh, what do we got? We got a treasure chest. Chest. An axe and some gold. Mm, that's just about. Nope. Never mind. Alright. Uh, I will let you know, guys know right now that I am a loot hoarder, so I will pretty much loot everything I can in order to get a better advantage in battle. Ooh, that was close. Alright, come on, give me your shield. I would love to get your shield. Okay. Press F for shield bash and C for quick abilities. Ah, uh, shit. Not what I meant to do. you came along. Don't think I would have survived if you didn't. What are you still doing around here? When I heard the town was under attack, I ran here to pack up all my merchandise and a soldier on a mounted horse kicked me cart on top of me. Are you injured at all? has been hurt bad, but I got myself some potions that will help. I'll give you one. Might help while you explore around here. Health plus one potion. Alright, uh... You couldn't leave all the mer merchandise behind? No way! You wouldn't have anything to buy. Will you be key will you be okay from now? For now? Oh, 
Well, I should be. Pretty sure if anything happens, you'll hear the gut-wrenching screams a mile away. Think you can handle the rest of the troops in town by yourself? Doing okay so far. Good luck. Alright, uh, let's go find my parents. I wonder if we go in here, will I be able to find something? Yep. Called it. Treasure chest. Ooh, and gauntlets. It pays to explore, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, better. Somewhat. Oh, hold on. Why am I? I'd rather have a sword on. So I wonder if this game actually has, like, legendary equipment. If it does, I'm guessing it's probably going to be like an orange gold color. There, so I have to go up there. Before I do that, let me go and kill this guy. Alright, let's go up there. to drink potions. Okay, uh, I'm good for now though. On health. I'm sorry kid, we're too late. Come on and get a hold of yourself. I know you just lost your folks, but we need to regroup. There could be more of those Oswari dogs around. Able to pick yourself up and dust yourself off? I can't just leave my parents here. I'm not sure what to tell you. Decide what you want to do quickly, and let's keep going. I could there burn... will be time to mourn your parents after this ordeal has passed. I could burn the remains and send them off in a blaze of glory. Seems a little redundant, kiddo. They're already half burnt. Besides, I don't think your folks would be fans of this idea. I think we should bury them. They would like that. Sure thing, kid. Let's get them from under this rubble. And we will bury them once we know the area is cleared. Let's go. Before I do that, I want. Nope. Alright, so shift and jump. I think. Nope, there's no way of. No way of climbing. Alright, uh, I saw somebody over there earlier. Yep, there it is. Ooh. Claymore. Claymore of the Ox. Uh, that is most likely 
Actually, that's not most likely it is. A two-handed sword. Uh, I am not a fan of two-handed swords, to be honest. Is there a way in here? Yes. Okay. This is my house, but it has grass and everything inside. That's just weird. Wand of the Fox. And plate gauntlets of the Pathfinder. Alright, let's go. Why is there a tree inside the house? I know this game is still early access, but still, there shouldn't be a tree inside the house. Alright, some stamina bar. Looks like you can sprint for a long time. Attacking does use stamina, obviously. They should probably fix that, to be honest. Sprinting should use stamina. Wand of the Phoenix. Ooh. Leather gloves of a snake. Right, let's go take a look in this house. I'll find something. Yeah! Okay, maybe not. Alright, there's a dude over there. Club. Alright, so health does regenerate, which is good. One person there. One guy up here. I'll take care of him first. Ooh, what's this say? Ooh, we gotta play more. And he can use skills. Ooh, my god. Not good. There we go. Killed him. Alright, so let's go take a look at what this thing is over there.
Let's make them pay for Good this. choice. As you know, I've got former military experience. I'm just not as young as I once was. But you, you kid are young and full of energy and hatred for the Oswari Empire. Alright, what must I do? Just leave it to me. I will show you how to wage war. Alright, let's go. Oh, there was a mushroom over there. I could have picked it up. Ugh. Blocking requires stamina to successfully... Okay. Alright, so first things first. Definitely change my name to Sega Maros. Sega Maros. Tomorrow's, and then let's take a look. Faction, I guess I can't change the faction for now. Uh, Kingdom of Arbitum is more like a modern day democracy still ruled by king. King in the king in question is the ruler, but lets the council of eleven make most of the ruling decisions. He feels giving the people some representation is best to help for a fair kingdom. With the best formal army outside of the Oswari Empire and the best weapons forged by steel, the Arbitum Kingdom is a force to be reckoned with. Alright, so uh, let's get the character customization. Uh, not a whole lot. Uh, I'll probably do this one. I'll go for the youngest one. That looks old. Probably go for two also. Eye color. Really hard to tell. Uh, I guess I'll go with this one. Hair. I like me a good old bike Viking beard, so I will definitely go with that one. Unless, let's go with this hair and beard. Let's take a look. Yeah, no. I'll definitely go with this one. Hair color. Let's go my hair color, so like that. Let's take a look at the tops. No. Let's go more for a Viking look, so that one would be good. And yeah, I think that one's fine. Alright. Nothing else I can do, so let's create. Welcome to your first hub. Here you can find your stash, quests, givers, merchants, and postings that will bring you in special trainers to open up a new talent tree to check your map to easily identify where they can be found. Additional trainers, merchants, and other special characters will be available as you progress further through the campaign. Alright everyone, I will end the episode here. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like button also. It does me a great help, especially since I'm new. 
Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, like I said, and I will see you guys in the next episode.